Hi everyone, welcome back to Novel Nomad and welcome to a very short currently reading video. I have been sick for the last, I'd say week and a half. I've taken me a while to recover. I got a pretty nasty cold. I think it was a flu even. It was, it was, I was off for a week, but I did get to do some reading, which um, was a benefit for me really. But it was it was just such a um, downtime, so I didn't get to do the videos that I wanted to post earlier in April. So I just thought I'd do a really quick catch up session, so you can see the books that I'm currently reading, and especially the books that I'm reading for Aussie April. I'm on to book four, which is super exciting, especially considering I had so many books planned, and I'm actually managing to get through them all. So. That is super duper exciting for me because I'm going to be experiencing so many new Aussie fiction. So book four for Aussie April is Anna Funda's All That I Am. This is a historical fiction. It is a World War II historical fiction. It has lots and lots of hype. It won the Miles Franklin Award in Australia and I'm going into it a bit blind. I didn't want to know too much about the blurb um, or about the story itself. I just know that from what I've read in the past and I've held on to it for quite a while and I haven't read it is just saying that's been in the back of my mind and very high on my TBR but I've just never picked it up so it is going to happen this week. Also this week I'll be buddy reading A Stranger in Mayfair by Charles Finch. This is the Charles Lennox uh, series that I've been buddy reading with Kate Howe. Um, we've been really enjoying this one. It's a Victorian um, gentleman amateur detective um, and it's really lovely and it's, I just love the characters. It's a really great character development. This is number four in the series and I believe it takes place in London. There are some very fascinating mysteries that take place in the, the confines of London itself and of course Charles Lennox is going to be on the case um, and he's a very very fascinating man who is not only just interested in detecting but politics and you know the world affairs around. It's a great overarching historical crime series. Next I have been slowly going through because it's a bit of my um, bedside Table Read and that is On Violence by Natasha Stockter Spoyer. This is um, on um, domestic violence within Australia and it's an it's a essay and these have been brought out by the Melbourne University Press and it is brilliant. I saw Natasha at the Adelaide Writers Week on the Writing the Third Wave or Writing the Third Wave um, feminism session and she was so fascinating and just to have a look at how because I know it is reported in the media but it's not reported to extent that domestic violence is occurring. So I've been really enjoying what I've been reading of this so far. I'm only very early into it at the moment, but it's been a great read and I highly recommend it to get a really good insight into where domestic violence is and how it's still an inherent problem within society. And lastly, I am absolutely adoring, this is a reread, but I'm treating it as a current read. Um, this is Celine Kernan, I love her books. I've recommended her Mohawk trilogy many, many, many times on here. But um, this is one of her uh, middle grade books. Um, it's Begone the Raggedy Witches, and it's set in Ireland, and it's about a young girl, Mup, who goes with her mum who is slowly changing as they go into the glimmering world of witches and magic after the, um, some witches kidnap her dad. And so she goes with her mum and her younger brother and her faithful hound Badger and they all go exploring into this glimmering world and discover magic for the first time. And it is really, really good. I am really thoroughly enjoying it. And oh, I'm, I'm rereading it because... I also want to read the second one which just came out, Little Grey Girl, um, and I will be seeing um, Celine at the Scribblers Festival in Perth. If you are in Perth or if you have any bookstore recommendations for Perth, let me know down below because I will be there for the weekend and I will definitely be having some time to do some book shopping whilst I'm over there. And of course, it's just not going to be these ones that I'll be reading in preparation, but I'll also be rereading Resonance because I haven't read this in such a long time, but I adore, I adore this book. It's more YA. And then of course it is Taken Away or Into the Grey, I think is the other name of the title. It's more of a ghost story, but that one I'd say would be more middle, middle grade around there. But I just love Celine's writing. It is really beautifully developed. So if you love like Nevermore, 
probably you know the sophistication of a Harry Potter story and that kind of that whimsy within the narrative has also been incredibly well written you should check these out they're really beautifully fun I can't say much for this one but I know I've, I loved the first one and I know I'm gonna love the second one all right so they are my current reads I hope you all having a wonderful week and there should be a lot longer video coming up very soon but for now I'm going to head off and do some more reading big surprise and I'll see you next time bye